Hi, welcome to my podcast. My name is Raquel, and today is Sunday, 29th of May, 2016. Um, yeah, it's been sunny and raining at the same time. Um, uh, there was a public holiday on Thursday, the 26th. So I had the day off and then um, I took Friday off as well and those two days were fantastic, sunny weather, quite warm. I spent uh, Thursday uh, walking downtown with a couple of friends and then spent the afternoon just relaxing and doing some knitting. Uh, Friday I spent the day at Ovelia Negra with my friends there, uh, a lot of knitting got done at that time, well, more in the afternoon than in the morning, but yeah, I did some knitting in, uh, during the day, and then yesterday, we had really bad weather, we had uh, rain, but like really, yeah, pouring rain, pouring rain. <laughs> It, it was um, thunder, lightning, everything. Uh, I went to a, um, a flea market in the morning and we got soaked. Soaked through, really. Um, and it was kind of a shame because it's the first time I went to this flea market. It's something that happens every Saturday morning here in Port, but I'd never been before and we just got a really bad day. So there weren't a lot of vendors. Because it's all open air, um, it's out on the street, no shelter whatsoever. So no good day for going to flea markets, that's for sure. <coughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, then I spent the rest of the day knitting at Ovelia in the morning, and in the afternoon there was a, a knit group get together. So that's what I did the last couple of days and now it's Sunday it's um, about 4.30 in the afternoon and I've been doing some housework and I've been doing some knitting and now I'm following the podcast so let's get started with the knitting stuff um, last week I was at my parents place uh, this week uh, and I was, sh I showed the sweater I was knitting for someone, um, and I built, I was close to finishing, I, I had a sleeve left to do, and the pocket left to do, so now I finished the, the sweater, I need to block it still, and so it ends, so here it is, completed, two sleeves, there we go, two sleeves, and there's the whole sweater, and here's the little pocket that is going to go up like this over here somewhere. Um, so yeah, I'm going to block these today and then sew this on during the week because this needs to be done by coming Sunday, by the 5th of June. So. I'm cutting it close now. <laughs> uh, I should have actually blocked it uh, earlier this week, but I didn't. Um, I'm going to do that straight after the podcast. As that's it for finished objects, I have nothing else. Um, I do have a couple of works in progress, and one of them is over there. I'm just quickly going to get it. Okay. First one I'm going to show uh, is the sweater, the Natsumi sweater I started on, I finished this sweater on Monday and I s didn't have the yarn that I wanted, that I needed to make the romping around sweater so I decided to start the Natsumi sweater uh, which I showed already, I, I had a little bit done of it before and then I ripped it out because it wasn't the right size. Um, and this is the progress I made since since Tuesday. I 
I started it and then I think I did most up to the next separation on the Tuesday evening. It's really the cable section here is quite easy to it's an eight row repeat and it's quite easy to to memorize so yeah then um, Wednesday I basically did this whole section from the neck opening to here Thursday I didn't knit on uh, on this at all no I didn't on this at all because I was out and about the whole day and then Friday at Aurelia, I think I did maybe one repeat um, in the morning. Um, and as I walked into the store on on Friday morning, uh, there was um, there were three uh, journalists. They're they're um, they're university students, um, and they're doing the journal journalism um, course. And they were there to f film the store, film the um, Joanna, uh, who was going to explain about the store, and then film some people who were supposed to be learning how to knit. So I pretended to learn how to knit <laughs> on the Friday, and then I got interviewed by these students, which was quite fun. Um, and that took up quite a bit in the morning. Then I helped Joanna with some stuff in the shop so yeah I didn't get a lot of knitting done during the morning and in the afternoon after lunch um, I got my yarn for the romping around sweater so this is kind of a works in progress I'm going to show you the works in progress and then we're going to go straight into stash enhancement because yeah I got yarn <laughs> I had to get the yarn to make the sweater um, and then there's another thing I want to talk about but that's they'll come after after the stash enhancement. So um, this is my progress so far on the rombing around, my second version. I'm doing it in green this time and it's gonna have a nice pop of color on the sleeves. This is gonna this lighter green is gonna be the color for the uh, for the shoulders. Yeah, I did most of the back section, so here up to this at the store on Friday, and then I did the increases in the evening, and then I was about to cut the yarn to start the front sections, the shoulder sections, when my knitting wasn't adding up. Um, so I ripped out all the increase uh, sections for the, the so all of this I had to rip out because I'd forgotten to do four more rows in the back section. So re -knit most of it, most of the increases on the Friday evening, finished the back increases Saturday morning at the store again and did the left sleep this left section at the store on Saturday morning started this section and finished this section at the knit at in the afternoon and then uh, during the knitting meetup uh, joined the front section here the the border, the neckline here, and then did the increases, and I finished the increases for the front section at home, and yeah, this is what I've done so far. I'm one repeat away from doing the uh, starting the increases for the waist shaping, so I'm hoping to complete all the waist shaping today, and hopefully fingers crossed, have the body section all completed today, so that I can, I might not get a lot of sleep today, put it that way, because um, I have until the 31st, which is Tuesday, so I only have 
two whole days left to knit this. And Monday, um, so okay, I'll get to that later, what I'm doing on Monday. The yarn. Yarn is, again, it's Olivia, the Ovelia Negra brand. And the main color for the body this time, I'm not, uh, this is one color for the body only this time. Uh, last time my sweater was two different colors, now I'm just doing the the one color. And this is like a, like a dirty grayish green. It's not really coming up very, oh, very well. Mm, maybe. No, it's, it's a bit more green than what's showing up on the screen. And this is color number 73. And I've not written down the, the color names, so I'll try to find out for you and put them in the show notes. So this is the body. Then for the shoulder section you already saw on the sleeve, on, on the back, it's going to be this um, lighter green color and that's, um, that is color number 12. I already removed the label so I have to quickly check. And then for the sleeves, the idea was to just use this color, which is color number 51. But they only had the one ball left, so I'm going to pair it with this color, and that's number 8. So here, you can see there's a slight, this one's slightly lighter than this one. So I'm just going to mix those two for the sleeves. And I know this is enough from having done the previous one, so, and I'll still have some, quite a bit left over from this. So this is my sweater that I'm working on right now. I've put the Natsumi aside because I, I want to try finish this one for by by Tuesday afternoon. By so I can take a photo and post it on the forum on Ravelry and be in a chance to win a prize, maybe. <laughs> I'm not doing it for the prize. I just want to see if I can do the sweater in in five days basically or four and a half days. Um so as we're in stash enhancement, I'll continue with that. I also bought this color, which is number 57. It's like a dirty, a gray white. Actually, quite a nice color. Now, this is going to be the base color for my um, On the Spice Market by Melanie Bird. That's the next knit along by Ovelia Negra that Ovelia Negra is hosting. And I already have, since last year, and I, I believe I showed these already, um, I had yarn picked out for the Deep End Shawl by Heidi Kiermaier. And I've just not gotten around to knitting it. So what I've decided is, seeing as I'll use um, very little of these colors for the on the spice market shawl. I'm going to use the same colors. So I'm going to have two uh, two shawls with pretty much the same colors. Uh, there's w one color that's going to be different in the two shawls to distinguish them. And also I'm going to do them in different sequence of colors. So on the spice market shawl, uh, the Nidalong starts on the 2nd of June and it's being hosted by Ovelia Negra. Um, so if you want to join, go join, um, go check their group on Ravelry, she'll, uh, Joanna I'm sure has already set up the, the forum post uh, thread. So main color is this grayish white. Then I'm going to go start with this color, which is 76. And I used this one in my mellow sweater uh, that I knit early this year, and I joined this with um, some Kid Silk Haze. And if I remember, I'll show the sweater, which I turned into a, a tunic dress um, next week. So that's going to be my color number one. Then this is going to be my color number two. This is the leftover from my other version of the romping around sweater 
which I use this for the sleeves and I use this for the um, the Jujuy shawl by Hohi Locatelli as well so that's color number one color number two then it's gonna go this one this is the same color as what I'm doing the body for the sweater so that's gonna be number three you need six colors and a main color so these are my first three colors okay then after this color I'm gonna do the green here which is number 12 and then the final two colors are gonna be this one which was one of the colors I used on the sleeves of the other roaming around sweater I did and then this one so here this one is the same color um, this is a scheme that I got left that got left over from the split top cow uh, the split top by La Maison Rilili that I knit last year again it was a, an, a, a knit along organized by Ovelia Negra so those are my six colors that I'm going to be using in the shawl and I'm only going to start that on Tuesday because I don't have the pattern yet. The pattern will only be sent out on the Tuesday so that everyone starts at the same time, which is fair enough. And I'm not I'm not quite sure what the deadline is going to be for this shawl. I don't think she said yet. Or it's probably in the thread, so yeah. Um, carrying on with stash enhancement. Now, I'm not much of a fan of cotton. I don't really like knitting with it. But I just could not resist these three colors. Um, I bought Essentials Cotton DK by Rico Design. Um, this is one of the colors. Okay, this is 50, 50 grams. One ball is 50 grams and it has 130 meters, which is a r roughly 145 yards more or less. It's 100% cotton and it suggests needle size 3 to 4, so that's a, um, a US 2 to 6 maybe. Um, so yeah, I got 4 balls of this one and the color is not showing up really well on the screen, it's, it's much brighter. I got this one, I got 2 balls of this color and four balls of this color. So my idea is make a sweater out of this just for like a nice light summer top kind of thing uh, and use stripes. Um, yeah so I'm gonna see how that works. How that's gonna go. Uh, <laughs> I still have to... I'm gonna design a sweater for this. It's just gonna be a really simple sweater. Um, I'm not going to do anything complicated and I just want something striped. So that's it for works in progress, that's it for stash enhancement, finished objects. Um, and I mentioned something I'm going to be doing on Monday. Okay, so Nana from uh, Mange de Verre podcast is organizing for the second time a sort of a yarn crawl, you might call it. Um, this time it's going to be here in Port. Uh, she organized one last year, I believe it was in October, October, November last year in Lisbon. And I only found out about it on her podcast at the time, so I didn't know she'd organized it. And But she, then again, she'd organized it with a couple of her friends from the Lisbon area. Uh, she lives in Algarve. So she's flying up to Porto on Monday morning along with a couple of her friends from the Lisbon area and they've put an itinerary on on the blog on their blog uh, Nana's put it on her blog and the other ladies have put it on their blogs and I'll link to Nana's um, blog post with all those with the itinerary and you can check it out 
So if you want to come join us, because they've opened it up for everyone who who's willing, who's wanting to join, uh, come join us. Um, I'm going to meet up with them at Ovelha Negra, which is going to be their first stop on Monday. And then we're going to be walking around Porto, uh, visiting a couple of, there's one more yarn store there, and then a couple of fabric stores, and a couple of button stores, having lunch, and because they're on a pretty tight schedule as they have flights and trains to catch uh, back to the south, they've created this itinerary to, so that they can go to the shops that they really want to go to and nobody's, if you want to join, you're not obligated to join for the whole day if you just want to meet them and say hi, for instance have lunch with them, then go have lunch uh, with them um, I'm intending to join them at least the part in the morning. Uh, I'll see. It really depends on the weather. If it's really bad weather like it has been for the last two days, at the moment it's not raining but it's really dark outside and it's going to start raining pretty soon I'm sure. Um, like I said, yesterday it was like just sheets of water coming down. It was quite bad. <laughs> so if it's raining like yesterday, I don't know if I'm going to be wandering around with them <laughs> in that rain <laughs> the whole day through. Um, I don't want to get soaked through again. Um, I don't want to push my luck <laughs> in getting soaked again. Uh, I don't want I, I to get sick, put it that way. So, if the weather cooperates, I'll probably join them for the whole day, and that means very little knitting time, or, yeah, very little knitting time. So, we'll see. Um, we'll see how everything goes. Fingers crossed, weather's nice, uh, it cooperates with us. It doesn't have to be shine, uh, sun, like, you know, like a really bright sunshine. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it can be overcast, just not pouring down with rain, that would be great. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow, so I've taken a, a day off uh, for tomorrow. Um, and then back to work on Tuesday, so Tuesday's going to be a day of catching up on my emails of the last five days. Because even though it was a public holiday here in Portugal, the rest of the world was working. And... Yeah, it's going to be a busy week this week, then I'm going to have a pretty busy week weekend, next weekend. Actually next weekend I'll probably be filming this on Saturday, as I have an event on Sunday. And that's probably going to last the whole day, or most of the day, so I don't know when I could film on Sunday, so I'll probably uh, film on Saturday. and post um, post on Saturday maybe uh, publish the, the the podcast on Saturday but we'll see um, we'll see how things go um, yeah uh, this m coming month of June is going to be pretty knitting intensive because we have the worldwide knit in public day coming up we're going to be, I'm going to be joining two different events. One is hosted by Ovelha Negra and that's going to be on the 11th of June. And we're thinking, we were talking about where to, to hold it. Uh, it's not yet been decided. And then on the 18th of June, we're going to go to Coimbra and that's more or less being hosted by Valdes de which is the local yarn store in Coimbra, which it's a really nice yarn store and I haven't been there for quite some time and I need to go back there and see all the nice yarns that have um, they've been receiving lately so um, yeah um, I'm gonna try get a hold of my dad's camera so I can film some pieces on those two weekends I my idea had been to film this these couple of days but I forgot to ask my dad for the camera so no luck there and um, but I'll try for the next 
time so that I can also do a couple inserts of films uh, of downtown Porto and where we'll be holding the 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 our knitting get together for the worldwide uh, knitting public day and then so that takes care of two weekends in in June where I'll be knitting most of the day and then on the so 11th, 18th, and then on the 25th is our monthly knit get uh, knitting get together. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be three weekends in a row where I'll be doing a lot of knitting. Um, so yeah, uh, I have to decide what what I'm going to be taking as my knitting project at the time. It's probably not a good idea to have something too complicated because I don't want to be ripping stuff out afterwards. So we'll see um, probably um, what I'm going to try or at least my plan for this week in terms of knitting is to block the sweater that I'm going to give as a present on the 5th of June so all in, uh, so in all the ends so on the, on the um, pocket find some suitable buttons to go with it then obviously finish this sweater by Tuesday, um, which I don't know if I can get the body or most of the body done today. I think I might be able to, or another option I'm, which is probably what I'm going to be doing is, see, these are my first two skeins of yarn that I'm using. So all this, so far, has only used these two skeins of yarn. So maybe when I finish these two. I might actually do the sleeves already, which is usually what I do. I like to do the sleeves before I finish the body, that way um, the sleeves are done. And the moment I finish the body, I'm done with the sweater. So probably what I'll do is I'll do the neckline first, so I can get rid of this annoying cable, uh, which is holding my stitches for the back neckline. And then, so this has to be done by Tuesday. Then I'll have one day, which is Wednesday, that which will be the first of June. I can work on either the Natsumi sweater, or I can finish my socks, which I'm not showing now because I, I didn't show it today because I have made absolutely no progress on them whatsoever. Um, so I might work on the socks. And then on the 2nd of June is start the shawl, because that will be the efficient, uh, official starting day. And then yeah, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see how things go from there. Um, and depending on how fast a knit the shawl is, um, I might just knit that to the end. And then pick up the, the Natsumi sweater again. Um, what I'll probably try to do is finish this top section. Okay, now I should probably have mentioned before that I'm not knitting the Natsumi sweater as written because the Natsumi sweater, as if I'd be doing it as written, I would not be able to be doing them on this small cable because I'd have the whole of the front and the whole of the back stitches onto the side. What I decided to do from the very beginning, even for, uh, like when I bought the, the the pattern was to do this whole section so the, the top section with the cables and then um, so, so this is the front like this so I'm knitting it from the left to the right um, and then I'll pick up stitches here along the bottom along this bottom edge I'll just pick up stitches and that way I'll just knit the sweater all for as long as yeah for as long as possible because like I said a couple of episodes ago when I was showing this this is Brooklyn Tweed's um, I can't remember now if it's shelter or, or love but it's the Brooklyn Tweed yarn and the shop I bought this from did not have sufficient 
number of skeins that I needed to make this project in the size I wanted to make it. So, rather than do all the work with all the body stitches on the side and then get almost to the end and not have enough yarn, um, I'm going to do it this way. And then the whole top section, pick up the stitches from here and then work my way down. And before I pick up the stitches here to work my way down, I'll see uh, how they want to how they want you to do sleeves because I believe it's like a a three quarter sleeve length, and I might not have enough, so I might set one sk uh, skein apart for the sleeves, and then with the leftovers because at the uh, let's see how many skeins do I have. I have six in total, so. At the moment, this hasn't really used up one skein just yet. Uh, I'm using two at 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 a time at uh, at the moment because you know to do them the two sides concurrently. Um, and this is as it suggested suggested in the in the um, in the pattern. So if I finish the top section by the 11, then I think I'll take that along with me and then I'll just be knitting in the rounds and then I, don't, I, won't, you know, I won't be doing any waist increases or decreases so that'll be an easy enough project to do for the 11. Just have to figure out what to do for the 18th then and the 25th but we'll get to <laughs> yeah that's still quite a bit away so we'll see uh, when we get to that time. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I don't have anything else to say, so thank you for watching. I forgot to say that at the beginning. Thank you to all new and returning viewers for watching. Thank you for everyone for your comments. I'm going to try um, start to try oh my god. I'm going to try to start incorporating all the suggestions um, you guys left on the forum uh, on Ravelry into my um, podcasts. Maybe I'll do just a, a separate episode, for instance, on these two sweaters that I'm knitting at the time, where I've made modifications, because uh, that was one of the things people wanted to know. How do I decide to make modifications? Where do I make what makes me decide to make modifications to a pattern and uh, where do I make them and why do I make them so maybe maybe that'll be one of uh, maybe I'll do that next week I'll write I'm gonna write down in my little notebook which I don't have here with me at the moment where I write on all my um, show notes I'm gonna write down all the suggestions you guys left for me um, and then I'm just gonna go one by one and maybe I'll take next week to show th both sweaters and decide and tell you how I decided to make modifications to the sweaters. Yeah, so I'll do that next week. I'll do the modifications on these two sweaters anyway and then from now on I'll, I'll start incorporating that into on a regular basis to the, into the podcast. So. Enjoy the rest of, the we of your weekend. Um, holiday season is coming up, so let's hope the weather starts turning better. <laughs> I, at the moment, doesn't look like it. Um, so yeah, but have a nice weekend. Uh, see you next time, and happy knitting to everyone.